My name is Dr. Johnny Lees. Um, I'm the head of department for electrical and electronic engineering here at Cardiff School of Engineering. So later in the video, my colleagues Chris and Muditha will tell you more about the programmes, the structure, how we teach them and the entry requirements. So the School of Engineering is one of the largest schools in the university. Uh, we have lots of interesting research going on here uh, and most of that research is linked to industry. So strong industrial links are really important to us. They help uh, guide the curriculum design. They ensure that we're teaching what's relevant and what industry wants. And they also provide us with projects that we can offer our year three, year four and MSc students at the end of their programmes. Skills in electrical, electronic and integrated engineering are really important at the moment. They are needed for addressing many of the societal challenges that we're facing. And these can be climate change, um, health and our security. One area of focus we have is sustainable energy. For example, we may be interested in attaching wind, solar, energy sources to our existing grids, and that, that's a real challenge. In sustainable transport, we would be interested in new motors, uh, new battery technologies, and the electronics that drives those systems. So we're also developing the very latest compound semiconductor devices, um, and these are going to find their way into new mobile phones, 5G and 6G systems and space-based communication systems of the future. So in summary, I think we're striving to address the real challenges that society is facing in the future. And I think just by doing that makes our courses exciting and rewarding. Through the electrical and electronic engineering department, we offer two main uh, routes for your degree. Uh, the first one, which is the electrical and electronic engineering uh, degree, which focuses on the small scale science and applications of electricity, such as in applications of electronics, nanotechnology, uh, radio and microwaves, and digital technologies, to name a few examples, and the large scale science and applications of electricity, such as in the generation, distribution and transmission of electricity. And the second route is our integrated engineering program, which is a coherent multidisciplinary program bringing together the electrical, electronic and the mechanical uh, disciplines in areas and applications such as uh, mechatronics, manufacturing, CAD design and renewable energy technologies. Our electrical and electronic engineering degree program is accredited by the Institution for Engineering and Technology, the IET, and the integrated engineering degree is accredited by the IET and also the Institute for Mechanical Engineers, the IMECI. In both disciplines, our students can choose to study for a three-year Bachelor in Engineering uh, degree or for a four-year Master's in Engineering uh, degree. For both the Bachelor's and the Master's program, there is the option to take uh, a year in industry or to study abroad. The year in industry is a 12-month uh, placement to an industrial setting where you get to apply what you've learned in the first two years in an real-world industry setting. We have an extensive network of companies, uh, both in Wales, across the UK and internationally, who regularly accept our students and employ them uh, for the year in industry. And for many of our graduates, this is essentially an extended job interview, and they go on to secure a job placement with these industrial partners. Our students get to apply for scholarships available through the IET Power Academy and also the UK Electronics Skills Foundation. These scholarships provide the students with a bursary and also funding to cover the costs of books and software. But more importantly, they get mentorship throughout their degree program from the industrial partners of the scholarship programs, as well as guaranteed industrial placements. The students will get to study in a number of different ways, including class lectures, uh, design classes, laboratories, as well as project-based learning and independent study. During the first year of their studies, students will come together uh, within multidisciplinary groups, which brings civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and the electrical and integrated engineering students to address a real-world challenge in a year-long project, considering the ethical, the human-centric, issues as well as the technical and engineering problem that needs to be solved. In year three and year four, the students are exposed to the research-led specialisms with a lot of options to choose the modules and also their individual and team 
projects from. And these projects can vary from being in the topic areas of renewable energy, mechatronics and robotics, as well as high frequency and high frequency engineering or microwave engineering. The year three project is an individual project that runs across two terms, where the student gets to work closely with an academic supervisor working on an industry or research related project. The fourth year project undertaken by our master's students is a group project where they work closely as a team, applying uh, project management principles throughout in addressing and solving a real world engineering problem. As part of your study here at Cardiff University, you have access to a range of facilities. This includes our base room, which is used for your group projects. You also have access to our electronics lab, which contains state-of-the-art electronics equipment, as well as access to our maker's hub, which is a space for doing your own personal projects. In the second year, you have access to more specialized equipment, such as in our power labs, which has demonstrators for transformers, as well as power distribution models. Additionally, there's the machines and drives lab, which contains motors and generators, which you're able to test and model. And finally, you have access to the wider set of resources to Cardiff University, such as quiet spaces, libraries, and social spaces as well. As an example of how we use our facilities, as part of the first year, we get an industrial partner in who sets a design, make, and test project. This project-based delivery is a key example of how you will learn at Cardiff University. We are looking for students who are passionate about engineering and technology and who are looking to solve the grand challenges of our time. Our entry requirements for both electrical engineering and integrated engineering require an A-level in mathematics or the equivalent. For those students who don't have an A-level in mathematics, you can go onto our foundation course. This offers the fundamentals of both mathematics and engineering and is a gateway onto any of our engineering courses. In terms of career opportunities, I think it's fair to say that industry is facing a real shortage at the moment in electrical, electronic and integrated engineering students. For our electrically focused students, there are lots of opportunities in helping to realise the net zero agenda, the green transformation of energy, distribution and control, as well as power electronics to drive systems of the future. So for our integrated students, there are opportunities that exist in mechatronics, electric vehicles and renewable energy. I think it's important to remember that the skills that you're going to gain through a degree in electrical, electronic or integrated engineering are going to be useful in a broad range of careers outside of engineering. There's a lot going on in Cardiff School of Engineering, so if you'd like to find out more, then come along to one of our in-person events.